meant to go on to Arsenal, but you, you boys segued there. Um, obviously, we've seen the footage come out from the uh, refereeing situation. We're going to play it for the audience now because I want to get your views and opinions on this. As you know, we've done it on the terrace for, for other teams. Liverpool last season on many occasions. City, Wolves, United. Um, interesting words here. We'll play it. Obviously, the footage, is, the footage from the game is blurred because of copyright issues. But take a little listen, people. Possible defensive foul. Oops. No. Yeah, just, I think he's gone to play the ball. All right, you got he's Gabriel to... running in. You got Party. Right, you know, leave him. Remember he's gone Rice. to play the ball. On one. There's yeah. no discipline on Jack, field right as of yet. Declan Rice has kicked the ball away. Just knocked it away. Yeah. He's on a second. He's got no kick. choice, mate. It's a second okay. yellow, mate. I know. I've got no choice. Yeah. He's delaying the restart. I know it is. And I'm going to have to deal with it, aren't I? I know. Second yellow for me. Yeah. yeah. Look after yourself. Just looking at. So watch, yeah, that's no choice. Yeah. He knocks well, the just ball watching away. this. Just show me this again. If you watch Beltman, he knocks the he's ball. looking away. He's, he's not even looking. He's looking it's to clear. play the ball there. So for me, that's not a kick. Are you happy with that? No, yeah. Are you happy with that? Agreed. He's looking no to play the ball. Players running out, mate. Declan Rice's issue. Martin. Yeah. It's Martin. not an act of violent conduct for me. No, I don't think so. Uh, as you hear from Chris Kavanagh, um, he's clearly seen Declan Rice commit a foul, then kick the ball away for an opponent who was in the process of taking uh, a free kick. We've messaged very clearly and strongly to the players in pre-season around the importance of not, of not getting involved with the ball once the whistle has gone, not delaying the restart in that way. And we said we'd be consistent in the way that we handled this in the same way we were last season. Numbers of yellow cards for delaying the restart almost doubled last season um, because people want to see the game you know, with tempo and flow like we talked about earlier. So uh, I think once he's seen Declan Rice deliberately, clearly kick that ball away from the position of that free kick, then I don't think he's got any choice but to send him off. OK, I'm going to pick this apart a little bit. Arsenal fans say the ball was moving as Declan Rice kicks it away. What do you think? And does it make any difference, more to the point? Yeah, it, it, it may have been, but, um, but you know, Declan Rice still felt the need to kick that ball away. Uh, it still has that, uh, that impact and we have to look at what the player does in this situation. He acts in a way which is very clear. He makes a decision to do that, to take the ball away from the opponent. You know, it's the referee's job to deal with everything else. But, you know, in this situation, the actions of Rice were designed to delay the restart and therefore I don't think he can have any complaints um, when, uh, when his actions then result in a yellow card. Even though the restart... Couldn't have been a restart because the ball was still moving. Well, we don't know for certain, do we? What, we you know, in that situation, the referee looks at that, focuses on Rice's actions and determines that he has to deal with him because those actions are intentionally designed to kick the ball away when he's got no business going near the ball. So he says a lot was said there. You know, Rice had no business being near the ball, even though the defender Veltman kicked the ball five yard, three or four yards for, further forward than where it should have been. The VAR telling the referee to look after himself, strange. Also, giving advice on yellow card decisions is outside of the protocols. Lots to unpack from that. And I think we all understand, and I think we've had this debate, that by the letter of the law, you can book Declan Rice. I don't think anybody's arguing against that. He, he, later on in the video, he talks about Pedro should have been booked and how they're going to be very consistent this year about booking players at delay restarts. But of course, Michael Owen didn't challenge him on why Soboslai wasn't booked. You know, so there, there, there's a lot to unpack in that. And obviously what we want is the consistency from referees. What do, what do you boys make of what you heard and, and, and saw there from, from Howard Webb and Sky Sports? Can I start this? Yeah, okay. of course. I actually, I actually think that this is against the law. And Howard Webb never said that. You should not advise the referee to give a second yellow. That is outside of the law. That's number one. And I think uh, watching it again and again and again, Viltman didn't go to play the ball. The kick is high. If you're a football player, you aren't kicking the ball with foot that high. He went to kick Declan Rice. So even if the referee saw the yellow card and he was going to give yellow card, Viltman deserves a red card here. Could have changed. Could have changed the outcome of this game if both teams went to 10 man down. And by the way, if you are looking at Viltman kicking Declan Rice, no matter what Declan Rice did, and I'm going to repeat this again, for people that keep saying, but Declan Rice kicked the ball away. Do you believe if a player commits a foul against another player and that player retaliates and kick that player or stud him in the chest because the foul was against that, he doesn't deserve a yellow card? No, you wouldn't say that. Veltman, 
kicked Declan Rice and deserved the red card. And now I'm seeing it again and again and again. I forgot about it. Veltman, the VAR completely got it wrong. He didn't go to play the ball. He didn't go to play the ball. He went to kick Declan Rice on purpose. He could have pulled his leg back. Like we, we saw Timba when he pulled the leg back. Or we talk about the player going into the challenge. Veltman should have been got, uh, uh, got a record. And Declan Rice should not have gotten a second yellow for one reason. The referees and the VAR room cannot, by the law, advise a referee to give a second yellow. Cannot. If it's not a red card, you cannot advise the referee. It's just simple. And he has been done wrong here. And he admitted that Joao Pedro, Joao Pedro, they were they given him the benefit of the doubt. If you, I, I don't think you completed the rest of the video. If you yes. complete the rest of the video, and I'm I'm quoting Howard Webb here, people, for the chat. For the people that said the latter of the law, Howard Webb's words was, they gave Joao Pedro the benefit of the doubt. Why didn't you give Declan Rice the benefit of the doubt? Why you were giving so away free kick, he knows he's got to get away and let that free kick be, be taken and let the free deal with anything else. Okay, another clip in the first half. Joao Pedro kicking the ball away. Yeah. Is there a difference? Well, it's a different... He wasn't booked in this situation, he wasn't. Howard. He's trying to book it around. Officials on the field gave him two really impactful because too much benefit of the doubt feeling that the actions weren't really impactful because yeah as you, you heard it there that, that bit wasn't blurred out that's why i don't want to play too much of it but yeah they gave him the, their rationale for giving him the benefit of the doubt for full disclosure was that there was no arsenal player right next to the ball for a quick restart or to take the throw in therefore they gave him the benefit of the doubt that is completely for, wrong i'm kind of kind of come in here they, they before go, go. terry moves on before terry moves on if a player commits a free kick and no opposition is around and that player kicks the ball to the stands, that is a yellow card. It has nothing to do with the player being around or not, by the way. That is just a yellow card. So what Howard Webb said here is wrong, by the way. They said if the ball is stopped when the ball went out, right, and he kicked it, it has nothing to do with having someone around or not. It's very simple. And people think... Oh, you guys protect Arsenal. No, no. Just listen to what I said. For one player, they give the benefit of the doubt. For the second guy, they didn't. They just didn't. He didn't give it. Why didn't he give him the benefit and, of the doubt if the ball hit him first? Why? And, th and that's the thing here. People are too caught up on which team it is. Last year, when City's second goal against Liverpool, when there's a City fan here, uh, he's called this out. Why are you giving Arsenal excuses? Last season, when City scored, in my opinion, a legal and legitimate goal against Liverpool to go 2 0 up, and again, they went on to draw, I called it out. When Liverpool should have had a penalty against Arsenal last season for a 100% a handball, we called it out. When Liverpool should have had a penalty last season against City for the drop kick in the chest, we called it out. When Wolves conceded two penalties for their opponents kicking the ground two games running last season, we called it out. When Man United conceded a clear offside goal against Crystal Palace, we called it out. It's about, we listen, we as football fans want consistency. And it's not, listen, I've listened to it twice today and only now just picked up on the bit Mo did. And this is why the media have got to do a better job. Fans have got to do a better job. How are you giving one player the benefit of the doubt on a rule that's meant to see everybody booked and not others within the same game? When you start to do that and not, it's, it didn't say, um, subjectivity, he said benefit of the doubt you instantly damage the integrity of the game and we saw it this weekend Soboslai gets away with it without, without getting a red card the one that still hasn't been challenged we were losing one then yeah but that is yeah, not but, the, the law, but it, is, 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 not is, the law. Is, is irrelevant it's irrelevant he, he should he should have been sent off based was, on what Howard Webber said I'm not I'm not I'm not here to say no some guys, 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 guys. It's, it's irrelevant whether you're winning or losing it's a decision Bruno Fernandes, a game... Because we're not wasting please, time. No, but it's not about wasting time. You By the way, it doesn't, it doesn't say... Oh, Sam, hang on, Sam, hang on. The law doesn't say wasting time. It says delay the Delaying start the of restart the play. of the game. It has nothing to do with And if you boot the ball time. away, you've got to wait for another ball to come into that space. Bruno Fernandes was booked in a game an hour earlier for doing exactly the same as Soboslai. The difference being, referee hadn't even stopped the game yet. So the, the, what football fans want is consistency in these decisions. I hope and pray that Arsenal get no more bad decisions 
and the ones that do happen are to other teams because maybe people will listen to it more. Football fans defending Howard Webb here, you're damaging and you're hurting football. And what you're guaranteeing is at some point soon, your team is going to be screwed by, in my opinion, inconsistent decisions that are easily fixable. We're now going to see more of this crap because instead of saying, you know what, we shouldn't have sent Rice off. They're now doubling down and doing more of it, but I'll miss others. And what's happened to last year's protocol? We're trying to keep 11 men on the pitch. I remember him saying that specifically in the Kovacic incident. We want the referees to be sensible, use common sense, and try and keep 11 players on the pitch. Words to those effect. Now, no, right had to go. Left with no choice. Why do you have a choice one week and not another? And how is football fair if the referees operate in that way, boys? For me, it's crazy. Listen, when it comes to, to, to this decision... I completely agree with what the referee decided to give, to, to, to give. I think Rice rightfully was sent off. I don't care about this ball rolling and all that crap. Consistency does not change the fact that that decision in a, in a prism was correct. And, uh, you know, I think we need to ask for more consistency from referees in order, like, doing it more accurately. It's either you do it for everyone or you don't do it for everyone. But in that specific moment in time, I will repeat what I said completely, which is Declan Rice was on a yellow card. He got the ball. There's no need for him to kick it away in that specific incident. There's no need for him to do that. And he cost his team the game. And Arsenal fans should be happy because they won the North London derby. But he could have cost them that game as well and eventually the league. So for me, I look at that decision and I think it's a completely correct decision. Um, and... The referees need to be more consistent with it. But if, if a player is time-wasting or delaying the start of the game, then he should be booked. Can I ask you a question? I, I, I think in the prism yes. of that decision, I can understand it being given. and I'm, I'm, That isn't really my argument in this. Last year, do you remember how angry you were and Liverpool fans were because the referees didn't follow the protocol in the Spurs game? Oh, that was horrendous. Yes. So you agree that there was rightful anger at the protocol not being followed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So again, in this instance, now we have the evidence. It is against the protocol of the game for the referee to take, seek, or get advice regarding yellow card offences. So yeah, I'm not we, saying that what what he so, done was but, right. But, yeah. but this, but this, but this is the point of this argument. It isn't about, and I said it in my video earlier. The ball rolling or not is an irrelevance to me. I, I don't. That element of the decision isn't where I think the argument should be held. The argument has to be around the protocol being followed, and a lack of consistency, because the individual decision you could I can understand why it's given, but I want to know why the referee was being advised on yellow cards when we're consistently told they can't get involved in certain decisions that are related to VAR. I want to know why they said to him, you've got to look after yourself. I need the context of that. that should you be want to know why you can Owen. know why the, the answer to that question? Because Michael Owen was interviewing him and he asked all the dumb questions, to be honest with you. So he never yes, really but, Mike, asked... but Michael Owen has got an earpiece and is being told what to say. I don't think it's Michael Owen specifically. And if you remember last season in the Spurs game as well, at halftime, Sky did not show the replay of Diaz goal. They're in bed with each other. You, you, you do, yes, you don't think that this show is scripted before it goes on. Yeah, exactly. We know that, that it is. Yeah, we know that it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we agree. This show is scripted, people. It is yeah. scripted. And it looks that, bad even how, with the scripted. That's the part. Howard Webb knows exactly the questions that are coming and the answers are prepared for him. I think uh, we need a decision in which everything is made clear for everyone. Tell me, what exactly is the rule so we can all follow it and understand it? Does my team have to be losing or winning? Does it matter if the ball is rolling? Does it matter who kicks the ball away? What exactly is the situation? If I'm winning 3-0 and I'm running and I'm running through on goal and the guy like raises the offside flag and the referee blows the whistle, but I couldn't hear it, so I took a shot. Am I going to get a yellow card for that? Like We need to have clarity and we need to have consistency. But having said all of that, Rice deserves to get sent off. Despite everything else. Yeah, but, so, but so, you ignore something else. Do you believe Veltman should have got a record? Did you see it, no. Osan? Did you watch the video? Yeah, did I watched the whole video. video. No, no, no. Did you watch the video that was sent yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, I did. I did. I watched the terrace. You video. don't think that Veltman kicked Declan Rice on purpose? No. I think sometimes arguments can't be held when someone just ignores what's in front of them. I don't I'm think Fetman sent off because he's trying to take the free kick. 
You think the Viltman kick is trying to take the free kick? It might be a bit of dark arts, but I don't think he's kicking rice on purpose. He's definitely kicking rice on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think, uh, listen, I, I, think he, I think he didn't kick rice on purpose. But we've got a comment here from a City fan that says, Sobosly was in motion, context matters. Again, this is a great point. Then the question needs to be, then why was Bruno Fernandes booked? For the same thing as Sobosly, but without the whistle having gone first. And, and still, that for me is actually, if you think about all the yellow cars we're talking about, that's the most controversial, but it's not getting any airtime. Bruno was booked for delaying a restart before the game was stopped. That It doesn't make sense. Do you get where I'm coming from? It, the game yeah. didn't stop. Therefore, if a player just has the ball in open play and just boots it out, you don't get booked for that. It's just a loss of possession. So how can you book a man? Yes, he committed a foul. Referee's got to blow the whistle first. You delay the restart, right? These questions, this is what I'm saying, the Man City recap. These are the questions that have to be asked. And anyone that thinks it's just about giving excuses to Arsenal, that's you not having an argument. That's not an argument. That isn't a rebuttal. We're talking about this at large, and the football terrorists focus a lot of time and energy on decisions that have even helped Arsenal in these circumstances. Because I don't think there's a conspiracy against Arsenal. I don't think City are paying referees. I don't believe in any of that. What I, what I want to see is the referees hold their hands up when they make mistakes, and I want to see the media throw challenging questions at them that create more clarity and understanding for us, the paying football fans, who essentially fund all of this. I think we have that absolute right to push for that. Football fans burying their heads in the sand and letting tribalism get in the way. You are hurting this game that you say you love. Please wise up, grow up, and wake up.